The California Institute of Technology's Palomar Observatory is located in the rugged wilderness of Southern California. It is home to three principal instruments, a 60-inch telescope, the 48-inch Samuel Ocean Schmidt telescope, and the 200-inch Hale telescope, which for decades stood as the largest telescope on the planet. In 1928, astronomer George Ellery Hale secured a $6 million grant to build the 200-inch telescope that would later bear his name. The site for the observatory was chosen in 1934. Building the telescope was a mammoth project that spanned both the American Great Depression and World War II. Construction began in 1936 of an 18-inch Schmidt telescope and the dome for the 200-inch telescope. The massive parts for the 530-ton telescope were constructed by Westinghouse in its South Philadelphia plant. After one failed attempt, the 200-inch telescope's giant Pyrex mirror was cast by the Corning Glassworks in New York State. The 20-ton disc was allowed to cool for 10 months before it was ready to transport by train to Caltech in 1936. There it was in the optical shop for 11 and one half years. Assembly of the dome and telescope was completed by the late 1930s, but the mirror did not arrive to Palomar until after World War II. Finally, in 1949, it was time for the Hale Telescope's scientific mission to begin. Along with the 48-inch Schmidt Telescope, it helped astronomers to rewrite the astronomy books as the universe began to give up its secrets. Astronomers mapped the northern skies, probed galaxies, and discovered the first quasars. Closer to home, discoveries such as Comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 give us a new perspective on the dangers within our own solar system. The discovery of dwarf planet Eris knocked Pluto out of the solar system's planetary roll call. The small telescopes at Palomar are used nightly for dedicated research programs. The wide-angle Samuel Ocean Telescope is undertaking a survey of the night sky for transient sources, while the Palomar 60-inch performs follow-up observations. Caltech is currently partnered with the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, Cornell University, Oxford University, and the American Museum of Natural History. Astronomers from those institutions share the Hale Telescope's observing time. Astronomers no longer ride in the Hale Telescope, as Edwin Hubble did. Sensitive electronic imaging and spectrographic instruments have taken their place. Technicians install and maintain the instruments in preparation for each night of observing. New instrumentation on the Hale Telescope makes use of adaptive optics technology. Adaptive optics is a technique that allows ground-based telescopes to remove the blurring effects caused by Earth's atmosphere. This image shows the dramatic improvement gained through the use of adaptive optics. On the left is a blurred image without adaptive optics corrections, and on the right the corrections reveal a binary star. By projecting a laser into the sky, astronomers can create an artificial guide star for use in adaptive optics. To do so, they shine a narrow sodium laser beam up through the atmosphere at an altitude of about 60 miles. The laser beam makes a small amount of sodium gas glow. The reflected glow from the gas serves as the artificial guide star for the adaptive optics system. The Palomar Observatory crew works tirelessly to maintain the aging Hale telescope in various ways, including periodically pulling and recoating the 200-inch mirror. Caltech and its partners continue to devise new instrumentation for the Hale and the other telescopes at the Palomar Observatory ensuring that our mission of converting starlight into knowledge will persist for years to come.